This is Twin Cities Adventures with our Minnesota Chickens playlist. And in today's video, we're gonna introduce you to our new chicken right here. She's a Bantam Polish chicken. We just picked her up yesterday at a poultry swap. And there's something I need to tell you. For those of you who have been following our channel and our playlist, we lost Cranky. So RIP Cranky. She was our Easter egg or chicken and she recently has passed away. Uh, it's very sad for us because our chickens are our pets and we love them very much and we have provided them with everything that we can possibly think of to have the happiest life here on our hobby farm. Cranky went blind in one eye and then she quit laying eggs for about a month and then she ultimately went blind in both eyes and she just really lost the use of her motor functions and she passed away. We did give her two rounds of antibiotics two separate times from the farm vet and it did not help. Um, we gave her the best food and shelter and love that we could possibly think of but I have explained to my boys that even though there are pets they're also farm animals and you just don't know what's going to happen sometimes so she did pass and we buried her out in the back orchard. So today's video is about introducing our new Bantam Polish chicken to the group. Today is her first full day with the rest of the chickens. She did sleep well last night. I put her in the hen house and she slept with the rest of the chickens on the roosting bar all night long. I'll show you a quick clip of that right now. So now I figured the best way to give them their first full day together is start out with a really good feast. So I cut up some oranges and they're in the bucket right here. And then I have some chicken scratch and freeze dried mealworms, beetles and flies here. And the new Bantam Polish chicken is eating really well. She's drinking, she's just a little timid and shy. She's only four months old, where the rest of the chickens are probably closer to nine months old or so, give or take a month. up into the hen house for sleepy time you know that we added a fan for the evenings and that's on a timer right here the fan just sucks air out of the hen house and puts a nice little breeze in there so no flies or bugs bother them here's the roosting bar here we do have ladders going up to it and down into the Hen house, and then back behind the curtain is the egg hutch where the chickens lay their eggs. We'll check out, see what's in there in a little bit. But out here, here's a view from coming out of the hen house. It's a good view. There's this ladder going down. There's another ladder going up into their chutes and ladders course that we built. Chickens are getting their bellies full down here. They're all excited. So up in the chutes and ladders course we have treat stations with chicken scratch and dried bugs for them. They absolutely love the chutes and ladders course. This little walkway goes all the way over here. More chicken scratch here. 
chicken scratch there. This one here has ground up oyster shells and chicken scratch over there. I'll show you something that we did with these buckets here. I bought twice as many buckets and then you can lift them up and clean them out. And I drilled holes in all of them just in case any moisture ever does get in there that you can just, that it'll leak out. And this is nice because I can lift this up and clean this out and see the holes I drilled in there and then put those back in. Just always thinking of new ideas. So here's the food container it's right here in the middle. So if it ever does rain, no moisture can get into the food. And I did prop up these bricks so they're a little bit higher so the new chicken can easily get to it. She's very happy and excited now with her little full tummy. And over here I propped up another brick on top of this one just to get her up higher for the water. Over here the chickens are looking for bugs, which is one of their favorite things. They find bugs all the time. Who knew there were so many bugs in the ground, right? So let's do a little tour. Here's another interesting thing we did. We started collecting little kitty statues over the years and we decided to put all of them in our chicken run. So looks like there's little kitties here. Right, Sunflower? She wants to be on the tour too. Let's see, over here we have another little kitty statue on the stump here. And then there's another little kitty right here underneath there. Another new little kitty statue sleeping right here. It's a fun one. And then right here, I built this stand here coming from the ceiling, and we just put a treat bucket up here just for storage. And then I hung a fan upside down on this, and that rotates. So if I turn that on, that just rotates around the chicken coop, and that's for hot days. That's on a timer also, so it just runs starting in the morning and stops in the evening. And when that one stops, then this one starts for the hen house to keep them nice and content in the evenings and hot summer days. But it's a cool day today, so I'm just gonna shut that off. We don't need that. Now the fan actually has two purposes. Air circulation on a hot day, and it also blows all the, the bugs out. So this, stops the flies from hanging out inside the chicken run. And then our fly traps, we ended up moving those right out there. They are under the egg hutch. And it kind of draws the flies away from the chicken house and over to this outside area, which is really nice. And then the last thing here is our vines. Our grape vines have grown through the fence and we've been weaving those all around the inside of the chicken run. Here's a statue that I built out of soup cans a number of years ago. Thought it'd be fun to hang that in here. And then the grapevines are going all around. I'm gonna wrap them all around the perimeter here. And that way um, I'll have clusters of grapes hanging everywhere and then the grapes will probably fall and the chickens can eat them. I'll show you what that looks like from the outside. Here's an outside view of the grapes, and you can see that they are already turning purple right here. You can see from the ceiling here, they're just hanging from everywhere. Now, as soon as these turn purple, then we'll pick them and do something with them. There's the egg hutch. And we've already got a couple of eggs in there. Fresh eggs every day. I know what the chickens want. We have everything triple locked here. They want to come out and go hunting. There you go, chickens. Come on out. I'll bring the new chicken out so you can show her around a little bit too. Okay, this is your new free range edible garden, AKA fresh organic salad bar. You can drink from the water fountain. You can eat all these edible things except the herb, herb garden, that's mine. And here's some scratch for you. There you 
go? Why don't you enjoy hanging out outside with your new friends? Okay, little chicken, now this is the koi pond you get to watch from the roosting bars. You get to watch all those koi fish out there swimming around. Everybody likes fresh grass clippings. Okay, so we don't have a name for our little bantam Polish chicken yet. Her and a cool little hairdo. So if anybody can think of a good name for a cute little Polish chicken, add it in the comments below the video. Otherwise, um, I'm waiting for something to come to the boys' mind so they can figure something out. Thanks for watching the introduction to our new little chicken. And I'm so sorry about the loss of Cranky, but that's life. We have to deal with things, right? So keep moving forward. All right, thanks for watching Twin Cities Adventures, out.